Do you want to see the signs of a leaking pipe and a brick wall? Here, some of them. It's wet. Um, doesn't look like much. I can show you the other side in a second. Here's under another cabinet. There's water back in the corner. Otherwise, it doesn't look like much from over here. This is the other side of that same wall. You can see the leak starts up somewhere up here. Comes down here, just follows the tile. And the brick swelled up and cracked the tile and pushed them right off of there. So, this is a close-up of the damage. You can see that the brick is actually spalled off of there. And the wall is about half as thick as it should be. There's a piece of tile laying down inside the crack. So, yeah, it's a real mess. That's, uh, that's today's job is to open, I suspect as part of this is a pipe shaft and I suspect it's uh, happening in there. It's either a cracked pipe because the building shifted or it's a uh, loose joint because we had some issues with an earlier contractor not gluing the joints up there. So my guess is the pipe runs down here, could have a loose joint. And here's the problem. You can see water coming up out of the joint right here. There's no glue in it. There's glue in this joint, in this part of the joint, but they uh, didn't glue this. They buried it in concrete and kind of hoped that it would never leak. And I don't know what caused it to leak. I don't think it's a building shift because it's all in the same place. But anyway, there's the uh, source of the leak that was doing all this damage. Okay, so here's the joint. Just unglued. We removed enough wall. We can bend the pipe down, insert some glue, clean it up first, obviously. Had to take it out all the way up there to see what was going on. Uh, there's joints and everything back in there, so you can't, can't move this pipe around a lot, but uh, we can move this one down and, like I said, clean it up, glue it up, put it back together. That's about it. So uh, this is a mess that was caused by a contractor eight years ago. They forgot three joints in this area, so wasn't surprised.